Hey everybody, it's a Rogue Mizu here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be unlocking Chrome Arc Light's hidden interlude stage, and it comes with an update for Nona Ouroboros. So we have a new event that's happening today. We get a new chapter for our campaign. We get a new interlude stage, and we also get a couple of new things for us to farm. So if you already been playing Punishing Ray Raven, you already know the drill. We're going to be farming for resources. And most of you, I believe if you're free to play, you're going to probably be skipping Chrome and trying to save up for a future construct such as Vera instead. Seeing how Chrome is only A rank and you can pretty much get Chrome by trying to get him randomly in a roll since you have a fairly high chance to get multiple different types of A ranks. So we're going to head to our story mode and we're going to go to Chrome Arclight. As you can see here, it says event, flawless. And I already completed all this. But in order for you to do this, you're going to want to clear the first four stages, which is pretty much storyline behind Chrome's backstory. And in this stage, the available resource chapter, this is where we're going to have to follow specific instructions. So we're going to start the begin mission and we're going to skip through the story. You can read through this on your own time and we're just going to load up the stage here. And what you're going to see here is for me specifically, I'll see this because I already completed this but I'm going to don't skip the guide as if this was my first time. For you guys who haven't done it yet, this message won't appear. So you'll just get this dialogue box right here. So what you're gonna see here is Chrome Arclight with its big scythe and the three constructs in front of him. So I'm going to skip through the dialogue here and it's going to pan back towards the back with three enemies. So here we have a Lancer, we have an Archer, and here we have a Dual Swordsman. So what you're going to do here is you're going to see this terminal and you're going to have to activate this later, but you're going to have to pair up these three constructs here with three enemies in the back and you have to do it in this specific order. Otherwise you won't be able to unlock the hidden mode. So we're going to go through the dialogue. It's going to give you a brief description of each construct. Two of the constructs will have to survive and one of them will be eliminated in the end. So if you see here, well, we have three enemies it tells you which one's strong it's against which one it's weak it's against and pretty much it's kind of like a mini little puzzle so once you go through all the dialogue it's going to ask you to make a decision so for our first construct we're going to send ace rank c we're going to send him towards the left a somewhat dangerous archer so make sure you have this selected we're going to select that option and it's going to pair up ace with this archer in the back The next construct we're going to pair up is our rank D and we're going to pair him up with a twin blade enemy. So the double swordsman. So we're going to send him towards the right. And there they're paired up. And for our final character, you really have no choice. So we're going to send him towards the middle and we're going to send him towards the dangerous Lancer. As you can see here in the text, I believe there's a typo. It said Taro for the other character as well. So, you know, kind of sucks that there was a little bit of a translation error. All right, so now that we made our correct choices, you're going to be able to play as Chrome Arclight. So the first step, we're going to install an icebreaker on the door terminal. All you have to do is interact with this terminal right here. And Chrome finishes hacking, or he's going to finish hacking, and we're just going to defend this terminal. So you get to test out Chrome's abilities. His abilities are pretty flashy. He has a scythe like Isla, and for the most part, he is, uh, I would say he's okay. So he feels really fluid when you're playing his skills and his attack abilities. However, I don't really like his ult, which is basically just kind of like a charge up move where he just dashes across the stage. So here it is, he just dashes and auto attacks. It's like kind of cool, but it doesn't feel as powerful as some of the other characters. But for the most part, if you like Chrome better than Lucia Dawn, you can basically replace him with her. Or if you're a completionist, you can just pretty much get Chrome just to complete your collection of having all the constructs. So we're going to keep defeating all these enemies and eventually a bigger enemy will appear. Here's another wave. And this wave should be going down fairly 
fairly fast. Oh my goodness. Alright. Where is that big enemy? Okay, an uh, injured lancer joins the fray. Here's the big enemy that I was talking about that finally has joined us. We're just gonna defeat him real quick. It's not difficult. And here we have cleared the stage. So pretty much that's a good little preview of Chrome Arclight. I'm going to skip through the story. So that pretty much covers the available resource. So what you'll want to do now next is play through the leader chapter. So I'm going to skip through the story here as well. And we're going to get the stage loaded. And for the most part, you're going to see is Kamui in the back. He's fighting a couple mobs. And then you're going to see the two constructs that we met in the previous chapter before. And they're going to be fighting some mobs as well. So pretty much this stage is very straightforward. What you're going to have to do is clear the mobs. And I'm assuming if you don't clear the mobs in time, these two constructs will get defeated. So you, you kind of want to make sure you defeat all these enemies. And they should go down fairly quick. These enemies melt like butter. If you look at their HP bars at the top, you know, just goes down quickly. Here's a Lancer. It's a little bit tankier, but you know, he goes down quickly as well. And then now we're gonna help our two constructs that we met from the other chapter. So we're gonna defeat this Archer real quick. And then we just helped out rank C and rank D, Taro and Ace. And now we're gonna help Kamu. And that's pretty much it. So after you completed all these steps, you get this nice little finisher screen, cool pose from Chrome. And we're gonna skip this dialogue here. And here, it should unlock the hidden chapter. So the hidden chapter is called Scar. So hopefully this video helps you out. I hope you were able to quickly unlock it and that's pretty much it for me. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time for another video for Punishing Grey Raven.